Hi everyone, this is Laura, and this is going to be my fifth attempt at uploading a video today. Um, Hurricane Sandy is definitely um, pounding on us, and I am pretty sure my electric will be out in a few hours, so I'm trying to get some videos loaded quickly before the worst of the storm gets here. Um, I was so busy this morning filling up water containers, candles, and getting lanterns, and quilts, and blankets, and firewood. And I am exhausted. Never mind, I have been so sick for the past week. I'm actually on penicillin and pain meds now, but um, I just wanted, I needed to hurry up and get some stuff um, done. Uh, and I've been so sick this past week. I've a lot of stuff I have to do now. So I do apologize to all my friends out there who have been leaving me messages over the last five, six days who commented on my videos or who I usually see their videos and leave them a comment. If I have not done so, please, please, please forgive me. I am so sorry. I've just been really under the weather. I don't know if you guys can tell by the sound of my voice. I um, look like a chipmunk on one side of my face. It is completely swollen and three days ago I couldn't even look out that eye so that being said I do apologize and I will try to get caught up on my videos and contact and um, respond to all my comments as quickly as I can um, God willing my electric will not go out and this will be all for naught but in case you may um, at least you know why I am MIA <laughs> So real quick, I had a little project share for you guys. I altered those uh, ramen noodle boxes that I had showed you not too long ago. And this is what they look like. Um, I used some Prima papers on these. And again, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, these are just some storage containers. These are some old ramen noodle boxes uh, that you get in the supermarket. And I just decided to use them as storage rather than go out and spend an exuberant, exuberant amount of money on um, storage. I'm going to start making my own storage containers. Um, and since they are going to be handled an awful lot, I don't want to put too much um, details or too much stuff on the uh, outside of the boxes. Just pretty but durable. That's what I'm going for here. So real quick, these are the Prima papers that I use. And this was from an old paper stack that I bought from Marissa. Um, thank you, Marissa. And over here, I have a Friskars Border Punch. And everything on here, I mosh poshed after I glued it down with my hot glue gun. Um, this stamp is a Stamper's Best uh, Dress Form stamp. And these flowers was a Studio G stamp with flourishes. And I added some stickles. And as you can see, um, I pretty much have the same design on all sides. Um, just something pretty to look at and all these boxes will have something on it that is black only because it's on my desk and my desk is totally black um, as are my shelves and the other box that I did is this one right here and uh, this one I use my Cricut cartridge the songbird cartridge for these die cuts and the butterflies are from a Martha Stewart punch so I did one with dress forms and one with birdies because the other ones that I did, I believe, were butterflies, dragonflies, and um, swirls. So I wanted to do something a little different. These flowers were all from my Friskar punches. And I think this one was an EK success, though. And this is my Martha Stewart butterfly punches, but the other die cuts are all from the Songbird cartridge. And I just love how cute those little birdies are. So those are my, oh, and on the sides here, this is some black um, seam binding, and I just hot glued all that down, and then I just decoupaged everything on the inside, and now I have two more storage boxes that ordinarily I would have thrown in the garbage, and guys, these are super, super duper strong, yeah, so definitely don't throw them out, put them to good use. Um, 
Also, if Zoe or Nancy is watching this video, I did leave a message on um, Facebook for them. I'm seriously thinking about um, loading up my video for the YouTube layout hop today because there's no guarantee I will have electricity on the 31st. Um, as it is, I'm having a lot of difficulty just, this is like the fourth time I make this particular video. So I'm hoping that by the time I get an answer from you guys, I still have electric, but I'm actually considering loading it today um, only as to not disappoint anyone. Um, so I'm doing my projects first, and then the last one that I'll load up will be for the YouTube hub. That way there'll be no confusions afterwards. So if you guys happen to be seeing this video, um, PM me or leave me a message. Let me know if that would be okay. Um, like I said, I did promise to make you a um, layout for the hop, which I did, and I would very much like to um, keep my promises, but uh, if I don't have electric, I see no other choice than maybe possibly loading it today. Let me know if you like that idea, um, and for everyone else, please stay safe during this nasty hurricane. Um, I was just called, my husband just called me. He's on his way home now. Um, he's going to be leaving work early. Thank you, Jesus. And um, get those snacks out. Run to the supermarkets. Uh, for those of us on the East Coast, get your batteries, your candles, and just stay home and snuggle. Because that's what I'm going to be doing today. Because <laughs> chances are I will not have electric by uh in a few more hours. So everyone stay safe, be blessed, and have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.